Hello everyone, this video will be about shortcuts and some added features that aren't discussed in the other videos. So shortcuts uh, can be accessed by hitting the right mouse button and you'll get a menu of what's available. Uh, we have various things that just repeat what's in the menus up above and when we start using this it becomes very powerful. So let's just draw, start drawing some graphics. And I'm done. And let's say I want to immediately select this curve and start modifying it. I can just use the shortcuts to get to the menu items. Uh, there is a snap in here that when we turn it on, now it will snap to the snap that's set. And we hit it, we can turn it off. We can move. We have a new feature called scale using two points. You choose a point to scale around and then you choose a handle and the handle is how you scale the object. In a similar vein we have the rotate using two points where you choose a point to rotate around and then you choose a handle and then you can rotate the object. We have other new features we have add curve after and we also have add line after so we click that we can add after the point a line or if we choose add curve after we can add a curve after now you notice the control points just end up being equal distant uh, in parts of three above the line It's still a curve, it's just the points can be modified later. So if we hit modified points, we can now go ahead and modify the points. So that's a new feature. Uh, we have a new feature that is add endpoints to a curve. If we click on that, um, we can have the curve have points that are 50%. We just enter 50 there and then we choose the curve we're interested in it would be the points before you notice that there's a point 50 points here and that will end up being a end point just like before uh, the add points to a curve pick a point on a curve allows you to pick a point on a curve and then the point will be wherever you click Sometimes it doesn't get it exactly the way you want it, depending on the curve length. Other features that we have that I haven't been discussed in other videos are the features about joining and splitting curves. So if I want to split this curve into several parts, I just choose the end point and it starts splitting this curve into several sections. Where I click is now a new curve. You can see the start end points have moved. And so if I start selecting these and moving them independently, you'll notice that they are truly separate curves. If I want to rejoin them, um, if I have the endpoints very close to each other, they'll end up merging the endpoints. If the endpoints are small uh, or farther apart, they'll put a line between the two. So if I choose these two curves, let's say, to join, choose this curve and then this curve, you notice they'll put a line there. Undo. If I actually go ahead and make these curves uh, be the same endpoints, they're not joined yet. Uh, when I join curves, it will end up being one point here. There won't be two points. So if they're right on top of each other, it just joins them uh, as one point. I can reverse the direction of the stitch out by actually choosing the reverse point order. 
which you click the curve and you can see it reverses. Now, the way the join curve thing works is that the first curve you choose will be the first curve. In other words, the end point will go to the start point of the next curve. So the two curves I select in order will end up being how they're connected. So if I connect these two like this, you'll see that it connects that way. If I go ahead and select them in the opposite order, this point is going to end up going to that point. So watch that. Uh, so it's whatever order you end up choosing ends up being the order that's connected. Another feature that's been added is we can now mirror curves about two points. So if I choose a curve and choose two points to mirror it about, they'll be mirrored about those two points. So if I just wanted to mirror this curve about itself, let's say I actually copied and pasted a second curve in the same location, uh, and I chose to mirror about two points, choose a curve, choose the two points, and now we have a curve Two curves like that. The final feature I want to discuss is the ability to pattern in a circular way around a point that you define. So we already have discussed in previous videos about what center means. It patterns about this circle. If we want to actually choose a point, we can go ahead and choose a point and now, when we pattern that, it's about that point. Let's say we choose a different point here. You'll see that it's patterned there. You turn the snap on and off. Uh, the point actually is just wherever you click. But if you turn the snap on, uh, you can be more precise about how you choose your points. So I'm going to choose my point there, which ends up being 0, 0. And you can see it's about 0.